an assist and six rebounds too as she flirts with triple-double territory. Asia Wilson has 37 points. If she's not your MVP, you're doing it wrong. Las Vegas on top, 93 to 70. Celeste Taylor kicking it out. Griner for three. Okay, PG. She splashes down her seventh three-point make of the season, a career high for her in that department. She's got 24 to lead the Mercury. Kiki Herbert Harrigan and Mack at the scorer's table looking to check in for the Merc. Clark whips it over. Asia Wilson just off on that triple try. And here come the Merc. Griner swinging it to Tarasi. Diana, nice pass to Cunningham and the finish. Sophie's got 16. Oh, that pass from Diana. Well, and the nice cut by Sophie Cunningham. Good ball movement by the Mercury. They make things happen. Tarasi in year number 20. She has got seven dimes to go along with nine points. Just came up with the steal. And the Mercury give it back. And now Asia Wilson's got 39. Nate Tibbetts wants a timeout to make some substitutions. So with the 39 points and 16 rebounds, Asia Wilson has had her fingerprints all over this Aces likely victory, Annie. And 14 assists by Sophie Young. Uh, by Jackie Young, so Jackie yes. Young. Yeah. I'm thinking Sophie Cunningham. It was right. a play that you loved, thought that Mercury might come up with it, but that loose ball gave an open shot for Asia Wilson. And Asia Wilson has just really been spectacular all game long. And not just with her points and rebounding, but, you know, her defense, we saw the one block shot, but she just kind of, she's an anchor in that middle defensively for the Aces. And to your point, Jackie Young has tied the Aces franchise record for dimes in a game, 14 held by Chelsea Gray. Here goes Wilson working hard. Now we talked about the versatility. She'll beat you from coming from outside the lane. She'll knock down that outside shot. She can post up. She puts the ball on the floor. We talked about her ability to not only put the ball on the floor, but also can go right, which is her offhand, but knocking down a couple threes. And so she just beats you in so many different ways. And, and just her leadership on this Aces team is just outstanding. You can see why Becky Hammond likes to go. I have Asia Wilson and nobody else does because she is her one of one this season for Las Vegas. Las Vegas just silly good today. 32 assists on 37 made field goals. The league high this season is 34 assists. So just a near perfect day at the office for Las Vegas. Again, the Aces have the second hardest schedule left in the WNBA. Taylor three, no. Kiki Herbert Harrigan getting the rebound. Monique Billings. Wilson corralling that rebound. She now has 17, so she's three shy of WNBA history, becoming the first 30-20 person in history. Sid Colson. A whistle blows. Well, there's no question. I think that the Aces are aware of the situation for Asia Wilson to be able to get her that record. Right. Because there's really no need to have her in the ball game up 20 with less than two minutes to go. Well, a lot of people were critical the other day of Chicago and Teresa Weatherspoon leaving Angel Reese in to get her double-double. And I, I have no problem with players staying in because a player wants to stay in. Right. And in today's day and age, it is about the records. Kelsey Plum off on the triple. Billings comes through with the rebound. And here come the Mercury, just trying to create some positivity. Mack at the rim, that'll work. This is a Mercury team that's got to play three more games this week. Tuesday against the Dream, Thursday against the Mystics, and Saturday on the road against the Storms. Kate Martin, Kirsten Bell, Meg Gupsison, and Kia Stokes at the scores table as Becky Hammond looks to empty her bench. Well, I think certainly, like you said, Cindy, 
You know, there's two games coming up on Tuesday and Thursday at home for the Phoenix Mercury and Nate Tibbetts, how he's going to deal with, you know, shoot around practice. Do they have practice tomorrow? Right. And uh, to be able to practice without Diana Trossi and Tosh Cloud in the lineup. Two great starters and, and veteran players, and Trossi is going to be a Hall of Famer. And, yeah. You're losing points, you're losing assists, yeah, you're losing you're defense. Yeah, you're assist leader in Tosh Cloud, your third leading scorer in Tarasi, and both of those players will have to sit on Tuesday after picking up their seventh technical fouls on the season that requires a one-game seat. Asia Wilson at the free throw line. She's got her second 40-point game of the season. A minute to go here at the Footprint Center. And can she get three more rebounds? Nope, they're going to take her out. And so Kia Stokes will replace Wilson. Tip of the cap to Asia Wilson. 41 points and 17 rebounds. Her second 40 piece of the season. There is just... Hardly any more adjectives you can use for Wilson. She Great is hustle by there. Cloud doesn't get the roll. Gustafson coming up with the basketball and gets it to Colson. Well, the ball just not falling for the Mercury, and a lot of that has to do with the defense of the Aces. Kate Martin. First burn in a while, scoreless against Phoenix last time. Meg Gustafson losing the handle. Cloud coming up with it. It's a shot clock violation. Ace is up by 20. And again, Asia Wilson securing her spot atop everybody's MVP ballot with a second 40 point effort this season. A season high 41, or rather, a season high 42 against it against Chicago, she comes through with 41 against the Mercury today. Kia Stokes whistled for the personal foul as Celeste Taylor goes flying out of bounds. Well, certainly that first quarter was very difficult for the Mercury. They got outscored 29 to 10, but the third quarter, they really came out of that locker room and were making things happen, outscoring the Aces 31 to 24. Yeah, that third quarter was a lot of fun as that once 34 point lead was cut in half. The Mercury, they shot the ball well and they didn't turn it over in the third quarter and that was the difference. Absolutely, and, and you love the hustle and you love the focus that they came out with and, and the hard part now is to sustain it for four quarters. So shot clock is off, time is just gonna wind down as the Aces will salt away win number 20 on the season, improving to 20 up and 12 down overall, winning the season series three games to one. 97 to 79 is the final count as the Aces get it done, improving to 10 and five on the 